So how did that go? Whew, uh, just not catching my breath. It was a tough one. It was a tough one, but um, I enjoyed it. What did they do that made it so tough? Um, just a little bit, a little bit of running at the end. I mean, obviously we did some shooting and did play through pretty but we did a little conditioning just at the end. So. Were they pretty interested in perimeter shooting, especially behind the three-point line? Um, yeah, we shot, we shot a lot of shots today. Got a lot up, and they counted them. So. How many workouts have you done? How does this compare to other stuff? This is my second one. Um, this is probably condition-wise definitely harder. So, um, I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it definitely. You had a you had a pretty good combine five on five. You know, show some stuff out of a different role. Um, do you think that the pro game suits you a little bit more in terms of the spacing and the freedom that you get? Um, um, yes, sir. I hope so. Um, I feel like the big man can't really just sit in the paint like that. So, like you said, just opening the court up, and I'll be able to. Hopefully, I'll be able to get in the lane and find some my teammates and stuff like that. So, what's it going to be like playing without your brother for the first time? Uh, it's going to be tough, but I'm, I'm excited to show what he can show without me and what I can do without him. So, it'll be it'll be exciting to be looked at as individuals. How does the, uh, sorry, how does the altitude change things for you? Was it, was it hard today? Oh, yeah. First two minutes, you're like, oh, my goodness, I'm not going to make it. But that gets your second win and be tough and fight through it. Can you kind of walk me through what they did with you from, from drills to you know, just what you did today? Um, just shooting, like I said, just shooting drills, ball handling, um, one on one, two on two, three on three, in some conditioning. Aaron's been by your side uh, pretty much from day one. What's it like when these two workouts went down having your brother by your side? Oh, it's, it's crazy. Um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I kind of like being in the room by myself, you know what I mean? But um, I mean, he's doing fine. He's he's in California. He's waiting for his workouts. He didn't do that well in the combine, but he's excited to get in, uh, in, the, in, in the workouts. You know, you did well in it. You were one of the people that did do well in the combine, especially. You know, in the, in the 505. How do you build on that over the last month? And do you think that you've opened people's eyes? Um, I mean, I hope so. That doesn't. To me, I'm just trying to get better, and hopefully, I get I get drafted. So that's the way I look at it. Just try to try to get better every day. We've heard so much about all the talent on Kentucky, and everyone, you know, had to be part of the team. And you know, maybe if you've gone somewhere else, you could have shown off more of what you can do. You buy into that whole storyline? I, I wouldn't trade trade my experience at Kentucky for anything. Um, I know a lot of people say they're the best fans in the world. We really do have the best fans in the world. They're crazy. And um, I enjoy, enjoy my two years. That's the two Final Fours, so. Ennis Cantor had kind of an ugly exit from Utah. Do you know him, him at all from the type of um, I, I, I do not know Ennis, no. I do not. Were there some things that you could do that you didn't show at Kentucky just because of the way the team was built and other guys? I, mean, I don't think it was just team built. I think it was just me this summer working on it. Um, just being able to show my, my explosive, my speed and also like exploit my size and stuff in the pick and roll to find, find my teammates. Did you guys do three on three and were you on, were you playing against her or were you playing with her? Um, I, we played both yeah. with and against What was, that, what was the work I like? I mean, it was, it was great competition. Um, every, everyone competed with each other. The three point shooting improved quite a bit uh, last season. Did you make the transition to the NBA three? What, how, how difficult has that been and how confident are you that you can shoot at a high percentage? I mean, um, I'm working on it, you know. That's what that's what gets you confidence. You believe in yourself and just hard work. So that's what I'm trying to do.